Hi friends, which among the following is false regarding laryngeal papilloma? Option A, recurrent. Option B, premalignant. Option C, radiotherapy is the treatment of choice. Option D, causative organism is HPV. The other name for juvenile papilloma is recurrent laryngeal papillomatosis. Causative organism for juvenile papilloma is human papilloma virus. Two strains are most commonly responsible for juvenile papilloma, HPV 6 and 11. Out of which, infection with HPV 11 is more malignant. Most common location for juvenile papilloma is on the anterior part of glottis. This condition usually have an association with the condyloma accumulator present during the pregnancy and parturition period of women. As it involves the anterior part of glottis, it is presented with a hoarseness or abnormal cry which eventually leads to dyspnea and strider and respiratory obstruction. Treatment for this condition is with endoscopic surgical removal of the juvenile papilloma. Most commonly carbon dioxide laser is used in the surgery. Even after surgery there will be chances of recurrence. Another mode of therapy includes photodynamic therapy and injection with a pseudophore. There is another entity called adult onset papilloma which is different from the juvenile papilloma. Let's have a look into the details of adult onset papilloma. The location of adult onset papilloma is same as that of the juvenile papilloma that is in the anterior part of glottis. Usual age of occurrence is 30 to 40 years and most commonly seen in males. Whereas juvenile papilloma is usually seen during the juvenile period, male and female have equal occurrence. Adult onset papilloma occurs as a single papilloma and it is very less aggressive. Adult onset papilloma do not recur after surgery whereas juvenile papilloma has a higher chance of recurrence after surgical removal. Thank you very much. Now guys please tell me what will be the answer for this question. Yeah that's right.